just arrived here at the hotel. And uh, basically, I'm gonna go out tonight and uh, hit a few parties. The first, uh, first one I'm gonna go to is the Whitney party, which is on the, the beach next to the water. Um, then after that, we're gonna go to the Ocean Drive party, uh, the collector's home, and check out the art there and the scene, which will be a lot of fun. And then we're gonna go to the Aqua Art Fair. It's gonna be really interesting to see who made it this year. I mean, I know a lot of people canceled. We're gonna be seeing Gary, who's one of the uh, curators, senior curators uh, for the Whitney uh, Biennial. How the selection's going? Are you finished? It's yeah. good. We're we're done selecting artists, and now we're piecing it all together, and we're um, and we're getting ready for installation, and it's, um, it's coming along really well. So, how do you follow the history of the Whitney with these selections? It must be well. We've been really attentive to the history of the Biennial. We've been looking back even to the 30s, since the first very first Biennials, and seeing how the show has kind of evolved over the years and the different um, sort of expectations that people have for it, the different sort of um, motivations the curators have taken to the show. And, um, you know, we're really looking at the biennial as a real kind of marker of how the institution tells its own story and tells the story of American art. So we're, right. we're really thinking about that in a, in a really serious mm -hmm. way. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. See you back in New York. Okay, great. Okay. Thanks, Captain. Thanks, Captain. We just left the Whitney. It was really humid, very hot. There was no music, uh, unfortunately, but we hope the energy is going to be stronger at the Ocean Drive party, which is uh, in a private home on a, on a private island, I guess. Thank goodness we're on the water. It's a little cooler. There's a nice breeze, and there's some really crazy cool paper artists that are standing around as well. What brought you here? What brought me here is what brings me here every year. It's just a great, energetic environment where you find people that come down here to have a good time, but there's there's certainly a lot of people that are very serious collectors that come down here to, 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 to look at fantastic works of art and yeah. purchase them. And then there are people that are just learning about collecting. And what's nice about Art Basel is that they can go to all the different booths and all the different you know cabinets. Yeah, the different venues and exactly. you mix it up a little bit. They get to touch it, they get yeah. to feel it, they get to smell it. And unlike a museum, or, or, or if you go gallery hopping, you have everything here in front of you. What are your feelings right now versus I would what say, it was last year? I would say that ago? this year, because of what's happened in the economy, in terms of the economy rebounding a touch, I know that there's still many people out of work, yep. but the stock market has rebounded significantly, and I think that there's a, there's a certain attitude that says things are improving. So I think that the general energy down here is much more positive. And I think that the quality is here. I mean, you have, to, you have to talk about quality. I mean, whenever there's quality, you, you will get people that have, you know, knowledge will, will flock to it. And every time I'm at Basel, I feel almost a rebirth because I get very excited about it. We'll have to have a drink and some dinner in New York. I love that. I, I appreciate I love that. I appreciate I'm glad that we met time. here. You too. Yeah. Thank you. We just left the Ocean Drive party, and we uh, bumped somebody out of the way, the New York style uh, way we do, still a cab. And, uh, <laughs> We're in the car actually headed to the Gen Art Party. I feel more relaxed. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, cool. Fantastic. This is pretty cool. I like this. Wow. This is pretty impressive. This is really cool. Oh my god, 8-track stereo. Coming to a place like this, where you can actually see the energy of emerging artists and talk to the artists directly and see some of the up-and-comers that are here and see the buzz of the people that are really wanting to support these artists. It's great. We're always looking for great artists that are up-and-coming and, and um, you know, cutting edge that we can get on board and kind of help support them and ride that wave with them. And the prices are good too. That's the thing that I'm noticing. You know, for like a thousand dollars, you can really get an incredible piece of art. Whereas years, you know, two or three years ago, you weren't able to do that. It's really beautiful, actually. It's violent. They got that right. 
Overthrow Canal Street. That's the name of the, uh, the installation that's going on. Yeah. Uh, all the photographs are from Canal Street in New York. And uh, we just really wanted to change the way that people were perceiving art fairs. You know, it's not, it's not a museum. Okay. Crossboard, Johnny Robles. Uh, 131 projects, all really talented. We just are trying to get people to start approaching um, the experience of going to art fairs, right. being different, you know. It's impressive that you're doing it. No, thank you very yeah, much. Thanks for taking time. We started with the champagne crowd, basically, and then we came here to the to the beer crowd. I mean, we had like, you know, just hanging out um, outside, enjoying it, laughing it, listening to music, and I like this crowd.